Hey Tubes, I got a real interesting project here today which is kind of neat. I have this piston here and it goes in what's basically a, a mass air flow sensor and what it does is it sits inside a glass tube that has a bevel to it and then but the run, glass runners, there's three glass runners, are straight. And as air blows on this it goes up the tube and then the higher it goes uh, the orifice or the, the taper opens up so and then this weight fights against it and then there's graticals on the glass tube it actually sits like this in the tube right here but I've got it mounted in here and it goes into what's called an oil dampener and it goes into a little piece that sits out here and it's got oil in it and as as the tube goes up and down there's oil around this and it kind of damages it so that the the piston here doesn't fluctuate and go up and down too fast it kind of it acts kind of like a shock absorber but as it goes through this little piece right here if this shaft is out of round what happens is, is it can go up and get stuck and that's what's happening with this particular item and I'm going to show you here what I'm talking about first of all they already uh, drill the thing or uh, drill this rod it's already about six thousandths out of round but as you go further down way out here you can see that it gets way out of round I mean we're talking uh, let's see there's about uh, off center from there about 12 and then another looks like 22 or 23 here so that's that's quite a bit that's what 30 uh, about 35 35 thousandths uh, uh, off center so that's the problem these need to be well under 10 really for them to be really uh, useful so that's that's the problem and if you actually sit there and look at it and use it against a reference in the background you can see the actual shaft going up and down on the end there so anyways that's part of me but Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to straighten this thing out. And the way you straighten it out is you have a rod that sits back here. And you bring this rod up into contact with the shaft on an area. And then just basically you push it and you bend the rod. And that's pretty much what you do. But I thought you guys might be interested in seeing that. So I thought I would uh, go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm going to try something new. Normally I put it on this side and pull on it, but this time I decided to put it on this side and push on it. And that way I can monitor with my gauge. Of course, I'll have to move the gauge up there too. The other thing is, is I have to remember that this is already, um, where is it, right here, six thousandths low right in here. So that's going to be kind of interesting. So I could probably try to offset this by putting some shims in the back here, but uh, I think I'll just kind of remember where the uh, where the outer round is and do that I'll have to polish that I actually scratched it on there but anyways uh, off to it okay what I did is I found the low side and then I rotated it around to the high side over here and I marked it high because it was high and then I went ahead and I ran this down here and then where it got higher than I thought it should be and I knew it was supposed to be lower I would just basically push on it a little bit until I got the reading that I had when I was over here. So that's pretty much what I do. And you can see it's fairly consistent on this axis now. And some of it is going to be just because of the rods got imperfections in it. So, but I mean, this is, it's got a little bit of play in it. It's got more than enough play in it to allow it. And then I'll polish this up too. So, anyways, let me get back to it. Alright, I'm back on the low side. And you can walk it down and you can see I'm... Whoops, sorry, I hit the, uh, hit the brass washer here. I'm about uh, a thou and a half. Well, maybe about a thousandth. And then when I rotate it around to the high side, which is about 180 out, I'm sitting at about two and a half thousandths. And I run it down, and I'm about five and a half thousand, so I, about three thousands. So 
three thousandths actually is uh, is not too shabby actually. So let's see if I can get it a little bit closer. It's it's kind of a give and take between the low and the high side. And then what you have to do is you have to rotate the axis to make sure it's you know maybe it, it's this way fine, but there might be some Z bends in it. So then I have to rotate it. Uh, sorry, I have to rotate it like 40 or 90 degrees and then go check it again this way and see how it looks. And it's within about four thousandths on that one. So let's rotate it around this way, halfway between the high and low and see what we get this way. And looks like we're uh, pretty close here too, two thousandths there. And we're about two thousand, about a thousand here, a little over a thousand. So we're we're within a uh, thousandth this way, and within two or three thousandths this way. So I think that's good. Now I have to check this end right here. So let me set that up. All right, for this one here, this piece is actually just pressed on uh, to this one. There's a slight recessed area and a and a hole up in here and what happens is they uh, they bore this out and then they put a smaller hole in there kind of like a pilot hole and then they press this on here so in order to get this piece uh, straight this way uh, now this <laughs> the funny part is this one's always off a little center from this one and this one's always a little off center from the main shaft so you kind of have to give and take and play with it and the idea is to make this uh, as, as round as possible with the offset that I'm going to show you here and the offset I'm talking about is since it's since it's offset from this shaft that's what I'm talking about so you can see I got six thousandths offset there uh, from it and there was a couple thousandths here so we're probably looking at uh, if I pulled this off and moved it over here maybe eight thousandths so that's why I said this whole shaft needs to be somewhere around ten thousandths of straightness for it to work properly uh, with the amount of slot provided in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoops, let me go back and find my low again. All right, I'm pretty much back on my low again. And I need to see how far out it is when I move it over here. And it looks like it was a little under there. Of course, just even pushing on the lathe here uh, can make it move. So that's why I move it and then stop and see what it looks like. So I'm, it looks like I'm still about six thousandths. So now I'm going to drop off to the edge over here. Dink. And set this up on zero. And see where it's at. Well, it's it's a little off. <laughs> Let me get down. Here we go. There we go. And the good part is is holding pretty much the same low, so that's that's good. All right. So yeah, we're about five thousandths there. Now this is the part that's important right here. I can I think I physically can see it's it's angled down a little bit, so I might have to push up on this. Let's see where we're at when I come out here. And we're about nine thousandths. Oh, big swing. So yeah, it's it's way off center. So I'll straighten that out. All right, I re pretty much reestablished my low there, and I put a little mark so I know where it's at. And then I went and found my high, which is right in here, and I put a mark for that. So now I can run this all the way out here, and I know what it should read over here, and what it should read over here. And obviously it's pointed this way so if I go back here it's gonna go below low well it should it's not quite it low there I mean it's low and high here but not here this is my low on the tip I guess so that means let me mark that all right so I've marked that low for the tip and then I'm gonna mark this one here's my high for the tip here so here's my high so what I have to do is I have to keep this shaft steady and then move this this way or I'm sorry the other way so 
Now what I have to do is take this and move it over here. Alright, I've moved it over to this side over here. And the reason I do that is so that this shaft stays steady when I push on this right here. So I've already uh, gone over and I've uh, moved this over here and found my low and high spots as you saw earlier. So this is this is my low right here for this one. And I've been in here and played with it already. So let me let me run it out here and show you. You can watch the needle. It's it's pretty uh it's pretty straight. It moved a little bit right there, but overall it, it stayed pretty straight. It was like three thousandths out. Yeah, let's see, let's move this one to the to the new high and it should stay fairly consistent too and it's about three thousandths the other direction so <clears throat> this shaft for the most part is done uh, and all I did was find the low and the high for here and straighten this out you know went down here you guys saw me do that and then I went and I found the low and high for the tip that was on it and then put this here so this shaft would move and then I just pushed on the tip uh, either with my hand or in this case I used a big crescent wrench to get as much on it as I could and straighten it up so so this piston is done and it's ready to go back to the shop and have the technician reinstall it decided to let you uh, see it run That's pretty true for just straightening it up on a lathe. So anyways, I want to uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to help my channel, subscribe. If you learned something and you enjoyed the video, by all means, please give me a thumbs up. So God bless you and keep none you out. Bye.